Hello everyone. 3D mockups are a thing right now. I also shared a post yesterday and that had a lot of comments that how I created those mockups. Uh, 3D mockups are going to be a thing in 2020-15 I guess. Uh, the reason I feel that is uh, big companies like Apple, Microsoft are using these type of uh, 3D stuff and these are looking really nice and if I go to Behance or Dribble right now, designers are using it a lot and they are also getting a lots of lots of reactions. So I feel like um, we should start using that also. But the downside of these mockups is uh, you cannot really see the designs interactions in these mockups but for uh, getting the attention it is really nice uh, like for the header of the case study you are doing so i'm going to show how i created that mockup so the uh, downside of these mockups are they are not uh, very easy to find and whenever you find those mockups you need to make it custom and use it for your design uh, let's not do the talking a lot let's get into my laptop and let's see how i created those mockups let's get started Okay, I'm in my MacBook. Uh, so the best way to find these mockups are in uh, Pinterest. Uh, by Pinterest, you go to Behance, uh, more or less. But uh, I'm going to go to Pinterest right now. As I have served similar type of mockups, they, they are going to come appear in, in front of my me very easily. That's why I really like Pinterest. Okay, uh, I found this one. I'm going to open that in a new tab. Yeah, there's a lot of lot of similar ones here. These phone mockups look really nice. Okay, this one looks this one looks really nice. Okay, let's do one thing. Let's create this version, the phone and the uh, MacBook. I think that would look really nice. This there is a phone and there's a MacBook, so I think this one is the best option for us. Let's download this one. Okay. I'm going to open this in Figma. The hard work is going to be done in uh, Photoshop, but I'm going to create this shape in Figma so that the, that is easy for us in Photoshop because most of us are really not good in. Uh, We have replicated this screen. Now why we need to replicate this one. Perfect. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do this is group this layer and export this image. And put it in downloads. <laughs> this already exists. I'm going to rename it. What is it called? Um, glass display. save okay let's bring this in photoshop one more thing we need to do is we need to export these shapes also so i'm going to export uh, let's change the color a little bit so that we can match it perfectly make it a little darker okay let's 
Okay, both of them are here. Just we need to do is we need to bring these screens over here. Exact shape is here, so this is going to be easy. Perfect. Now the mobile screen. Okay, perfect. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to get the screen for this. Uh, okay, let's do one thing first. Let's uh, mock up these things. So what I'm going to do is uh, first I'm going to take a rectangle. After making the rectangle, I'm going to reduce the opacity to 30%. And what I'm going to do is click on this and make this a smart object. This is a smart object now. Okay, I'm going to play, uh, press Ctrl T, uh, select skew. And then I need to select this shape. This is good now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select rectangle one, that previous shape we have, this one, and uh, select the quick selection tool and select all of it. Then I'm going to select this rectangle three, that this one. I'm going to press shift and mask. Okay, so this layer has been converted into a mockup. I'm going to disable this. Double click on this. You see this layer? If I press 100 and change this color into let's say blue. I like blue. Uh, and okay, control S. See, this this has been converted into mockup. So what whatever design I put here that will be here if i put a text over here mm, new layer this is a text control s this is going to be here so fairly easy if i take this design and make this design larger like this put it like this control enter and control s and this design is going to be here so it looks good okay so let's make the uh, smartphone one the same way okay select this rectangle to create another rectangle make that rectangle a smart object uh, select move tool first make this a smart object press ctrl t skew Press this image. Let's make this opacity 30%. Okay, now selecting this second layer that has a smartphone in it. Select this by quick selection tool. Select the upper layer and shift and mask. And removing this, press. 100% this is a mock-up now if I change this then this would be changed as well so that's the overall process uh, let's get an example control s Oh, it worked so that's the overall process this uh, this is done in a hurry so this not may not be as uh, good quality as it should be I'm putting some references uh, on the screen to show how uh, higher quality may look like That's the overall process of doing this. Uh, let's see you in the next video.